Hello, it's Alex here. Now, a number of you have been having a few problems uh, with the Kingdom theme, and the recommended advice is obviously to run the latest version because they've ironed out a few bugs and stuff like that. So, uh, here's a quick video on how to update. Okay, so to update the uh, the theme, the Kingdom theme, although this uh, you could use this technique on any theme on any WordPress site, um, the principle is the same. The first thing you're going to need is an FTP account on your hosting. So um, I'm assuming that you followed my video and you've signed up with Hostgator. Uh, if you were someone else, again, it would be very similar, but obviously the screens might look a bit different. But basically, yeah, you need to set up an FTP account. So I've got my Hostgator here. I'm already logged in. Obviously, make sure you select the right website. And then you need to go into uh, files and folders. And then FTP accounts. And then create a new FTP account. Give it a name, leave the directory name blank. Enter a password. And click create a create account. Okay, so um, here it is, it's all set up, and here's the details that we need in order to connect. I'll click Save Password, doesn't matter. Um, now, you're gonna need an FTP client uh, in order to connect. Now, I'm on a Mac, as you can see, and I use a piece of software called Fetch, um, which if you do a Google for Fetch FTP, you'll find it, or I think it might be available on the App Store. If you're on a PC, then I believe WinFTP is a good free one. Do, again, do a little Google search for WinFTP, and uh, you should be able to find an FTP client that's quite similar to Fetch. Again, the principle is, is the same, doesn't matter which client you use. So we need to put some details in here, which we can find uh, on this page. So the server is that one. I'm just gonna copy and paste that, take the space off the end. The username is one I just set up, which is alex at zombiemerk.com, and then the password. and click connect. Basically what FTP allows you to do is just see all the files and folders that are on your web hosting and obviously um, they're all here as we can see. Okay, so we need to find the theme files and they are in public HTML, then WP content and themes. And here's our themes and there's Kingdom. So what we need to do is download the most recent version which you'll find on Code Canyon. Um, so just head over there. If you do a search for Kingdom, or you can find it in your account area, I think. There it is. And then there's a download link just there. So let's download that just any old where will do. That's fine, uh, just whatever. Okay, and then I'm gonna show that folder file even, and then I'm going to extract it. And we're up to 1.62. Now what I'll just show you actually before I go into there, if I go into the website and go into dashboard, just check the version that I'm running on here. If I go to appearance and themes, and theme details, see we're running 1.6, and this one is, um, whatever it was, 1.62. Okay, so in there, in that unzip folder, there is a, another folder called theme, unzipped, upload via FTP. And there it is. And what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to rename this kingdom and call it kingdom new. That way I can upload it um, alongside the current theme and then just rename on here to, to quickly switch them over, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just going to get that and drag that onto my FTP and upload it into the themes directory. This is gonna take a few minutes, so um, let's speed up time with a quick edit. Okay, so that's finished. So now what we need to do is simply rename these folders. So uh, you can do that with your FTP program on fetch, you go to get info. So the kingdom that we've got now, I'm just gonna call that kingdom old. And then I'm going to rename the new one, just the kingdom. But doing it this way, 
rather than removing the theme and, uh, and uploading it via the WordPress uh, backend, you get to keep all your settings, which of course is a good thing. So we've done that, so let's go back in here. I'm just gonna refresh this themes page. And we're actually, we'll get two kingdoms appear now because obviously we've got the old one there as well. But the active one is this one. And if we click theme details, we'll see that we're up to 1.6.2, which is perfect. So we don't need this uh, this old thing anymore. Um, so if we click theme details, we can click delete. Delete the old version. Job's done. So let's go back and just check the website looks all okay. And it does. And we're running the latest version of Kingdom. Hurrah! So that should fix any bugs or whatever, you, any problems you've been having. Um, if you've got any questions, then please obviously leave a comment below or drop me an email, whatever you like. And um, until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.